want to welcome you to On Par with the President. I'm excited today to sit down with track and field star uh, Javon Harrison, who at LSU helped win the team national title, six NCAA individual titles, owns four LSU school records, and most recently swept the long jump and high jump competitions at the United States Olympic trials to become the first man since Jim Thorpe in 1912 to compete in both events for Team USA. I'd like to give you a little background. On part with the president is focused on people at LSU who are hitting the green. I'm big into golf. You know, I can't run track anymore. And um, the big part about playing par golf is that you're at the very top of the game if you can play and be on par. And so the whole point of uh, this podcast is to talk to the very best people who are affiliated with LSU who are on par, um, really just really doing great things. We're going to tee off here with, with a couple of questions. T tell us, Javon, how did you first get into track and field and specifically the high jump and the long jump? The way I got into track and field was my family. My family's big, uh, big on track. My mom did track, my godmother, my aunts, uncles, everybody in my family did track. So track was just something that my family just, you just did it. Like it wasn't a question, you did it. You could do other sports, but you were gonna do track. As far as getting into high jump and long jump, that was a thing that came during high school. My, house, my high school coach, you know, I played basketball, he thought, okay, well, you can jump a little. You can jump a little bit. So let's let's see how you do in some jumping events, and that's how it started. You said you can jump a little bit. <laughs> I'm sure you were very very good at it. So when you first started, what, what did you run sprints or what did you do in track and field initially? I I dabbled in a little bit of everything, but in high school, I mainly focused on 110 hurdles, 300 hurdles, high jump and long jump. That makes sense. So how did you decide to come to LSU? What, what led you to that decision? Ultimately, it was just the coaching staff and the way they approached the whole process, how they would talk to my mom, my family. You know, They made it feel like I'd be welcome and it'd be a home environment and I'd be taken care of. So that was big for me. And also, you know, LSU is far enough away from home that my mom can't just pop up on me, but it's close enough that she can, you know what I'm saying, come anytime she needs to, so. I like that, I like that. <laughs> 